Hi guys, this is Andy from Where Wild Ones Roam. Now today I wanted to walk you through our laundry setup and how we do laundry on the road. Now since we've been in quarantine and the whole COVID-19 situation, we've actually changed our laundry setup and that's what I wanted to walk you through. So before we were doing laundry mats and we were rather happy with that setup. It's so nice to take four or five loads of laundry and get it all done in an hour or like within one cycle because there's so many machines. So it really hasn't been an issue for us. Um, but since we've been kind of stationary through this situation, um, there wasn't really good laundry options. We also just didn't want to deal with going to a public place and doing laundry. So that's one of the main reasons why we have gone to a kind of in-station laundry system. The other reason uh, this was really easy for us to do is we have built-in hookups in the garage space, and that which is now our bedroom, of course, uh, in our fifth wheel. So it was really easy of just kind of picking out a machine and uh, installing it. So it was really quite simple. So all right, so let's head back and let's give you a tour of our laundry setup. Well, look, hey, Kristen's yes. doing the laundry already. I was just about to throw a load in. So I think this has been the perfect time to basically show you our laundry setup and explain to you why we went with this setup over like an all-in-one. So I was just about to throw a load into the washing machine. Um, you can see it's a pretty big load. Um, this is our darks load. We are a family of four and I do wash once a week and it's typically about three to four loads. Um, the washing machine that we use is a top loading washing machine from Black & Decker. We did buy this off of Amazon and it's really nice. Now, really quick, <laughs> I really love this because our cabinet is set up to where our washing machine rolls in and rolls out and we did that for space purposes. So this thing holds about 11 pounds of laundry super simple and super easy to use i'll show you how it works all right so the really cool thing about this machine is that it has multiple settings for the different size loads that you may need as well as hot warm and cold wash that's really nice to have in a portable washing machine that's not typically found in a portable washing machine. So this is really nice to have. Um, I'm just going to set the settings. Super easy. Touch of the button. Just like at home, right? <laughs> yep. Good to go. 31, 37 minutes. And it even has a lock on it. Awesome. And with this having casters on it, I simply just push it back into the cabinet and it's good to go until the time is up. So while the wash is going, I thought I would pull up some specs for you guys. Um, a little bit more information about our washing machine. So like I said, it's the Black & Decker top loading machine. It is a 1.6 cubic feet um, drum. And so like I said, it holds about 11 pounds of laundry. That's a lot if you're just doing laundry once a week. Um, this is really great. It does have the LED settings or the LED display, as well as six different settings that you can go between. And it's just really nice to have back here. As far as the casters go, you're gonna probably ask, well, doesn't that roll around when you're traveling? And typically, yeah, it would, but we have locking casters on this machine so we can lock those in place so it doesn't do that. Um, just a really quick tip around this. This is a custom built laundry cabinet that Andy put together and a really nice little quick grab for all of our soaps right here next to the washing machine. And you can see our collapsible laundry hamper down there that everybody needs in an RV, right? For easy access. All right, so it's time to move the wash to the dryer. And real quick note about the dryer is it is a front load um, dryer. It's from Costway and it's about 3.2 cubic feet and can hold about 13 pounds of laundry. Um, it does have a lint thing in the back and it's really super easy to change if it doesn't all fall out of you like it just did. Um, but it does have like these three layers and you just 
change out the lint. So I'm going to do that before I put all of the wash in. Super easy, just like your pretty standard dryers back at home. This kind of all pops back together and it all pops right into the machine. Now real quick, I do like to use wool dryer balls um, instead of dryer sheets, so it just is nice. It's an alternative. Um, and I really like this, this, this kind of setup because it's really easy to just kind of throw everything in. So while I'm doing this, um, I'll get back to you and we'll talk settings on the dryer. Alright, close this guy up. Pull back in, see how easy that is? Alright, so let's talk about the dryer settings. So this one does not have an LED display, so um, you'll have to read the owner's manuals, but typically you just turn it on. You do have multiple timed selections. So my typical setting is about an hour, and then you do have multiple heat selections. So you have high heat, low heat, and then air dry. So I usually do high heat. All of our stuff can do that and then just hit start. Now I did mention this was a vented dryer so you might say well Chris where do you vent the dryer and with that I'm gonna have Andy show you how he vented this thing while it's going. Okay, so at this point we're actually in a half bath that's part of the master bedroom or garage area. And this right here, I don't know if you can see it, is the actual laundry closet. So we're just right behind it. And then we vented the dryer into the room. Now, it's not that big of a deal because right above we have a fan that we just vent the dryer into here and then we pull all the air out. And it doesn't really affect the temperature of the garage space or anywhere else. All right, so while this is drying, I wanted to kind of give you an update on budget and how much we've spent on a system like this. So we decided to go with these stackable units, um, mainly because um, of the space, but also the price. This whole system was about half the cost, um, around $600 versus an all-in-one, which usually started at about $1,200 and up. Um, the build of the laundry cabinet was a custom build from Andy, and that whole thing cost about us $75, so we're looking at about $700 for a system like this um, from start to finish. So when you do that and you say, on average, we were spending about $2, $4 a load um, for wash and a dry cycle, you kind of can do the math and figure out how long that's going to pay itself off. And given the amount of time that you're on the road as a full-time family, it's kind of a big deal to kind of save some pennies when you really want to be doing the things that you want to be doing and not spending all your time on the wash. And that's another thing. You can walk away from this and come back to it without having to drive down to the laundromat or walk over to the laundromat or take your time and spend your day there. So um, lots of positives and we're really happy that we have the system. All right, well, thanks for doing the wash with us today. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, and we'll see you on the road. Bye.